Okay guys, what have we got here? I today, long overdue, I've done like four of them in the 11 years I've been doing videos for you guys on YouTube. I am gonna do a food prep video and then I'm gonna give a little taste of a full day of eating because we're gonna do another video on that. I'm gonna show you my refeed meal. So I literally just finished training clients. I'm about to eat a meal right now. Um, and uh, we're gonna dive right into it. Okay, so here we go. I am going to explain to you guys what I normally do. So for literally 20 years, I have been preparing my own food for the whole um, week. Uh, I get people that ask me all the time, are you gonna do this for the rest of your life until you're 80? I'm like, yeah, when I'm jacked and 80 and still coaching people, of course I'm gonna be preparing my food because it saves me money, time, and it saves me from being sick and in the hospital. Um, and even if you don't have a medical condition, you should still prepare your own food. So if you have any fitness goal, weight loss, maintenance, and uh, weight gain, um, you should know what you're taking in your body. And the only way you truly know that is if you're in control of what you're making and what you're doing. And it saves so much money. So don't get, I am not the shopper in the house. My husband goes shopping and he goes to Costco. So usually what he gets, and so we're, it's not quite Sunday because I, I wanted to do this video when nobody else was home. Uh, so everybody's out, the kids are at school, but usually I do this on a Saturday or a Sunday. And I always tell my clients, always make enough food so that you can overlap. So if you're prepping on Saturday or Sunday, you wanna make enough food to get you all the way until let's say Monday. So then every Sunday, so you're almost like preparing eight days worth of food. Sometimes, depending on if you have kids and they eat some of your food, which there's one thing that's here that, that I don't have, that I did run out of, and you will never ever hear me say that ever again, uh, I most of the time don't run out of it, but the kids were just eating it yesterday. So, I'm gonna explain to you what I do. Uh, my, my food has changed a lot. So in the past 11 years, I have done uh, three or four um, food prep videos, and this is totally different than the last one that we did. Um, so, I don't eat eggs anymore. I sometimes have protein shakes, uh, which of course, they're always the ones from Blackstone Labs. I have like five, five jugs behind. This is the smaller one. So, I do have the bigger ones. Sometimes I will. Um, just because of my Crohn's. So my body goes through all these changes and there are people that don't have Crohn's disease that your body might go through changes. But we're not gonna get into that. So what I do is I have my uh, different proteins. Um, I have also taken a little bit of a break from salmon. I will probably put it back in a month and see how my, my stomach does with it. But right now I have steak right here that needs preparing. I have chicken breast right here that needs preparing. I have uh, white fish right here that needs preparing. So I have white fish right here that needs preparing. And I have a few days, and I literally just finished eating, this is that white fish already prepared. Um, I liked these, and my husband got me the wrong ones, but I still love them. Um, I liked these little, tiny little potatoes. They are so easy to cook and pop in like popcorn. I shouldn't have even said the word popcorn. Um, but I got the potatoes here, and I'm gonna do that in the air fryer. I'm just gonna add this in, but I'm currently not eating rice right now. So I have the rice cooker, it's fully filled. Um, this my husband made because he is having rice. And what he will do is we will take all of our little Tupperwares, and I personally like these. Um, I do have clients, and my husband sometimes does, where he'll put the longer Tupperwares, where you put the protein and the carbs together. I like having everything separate, okay? So in the oven, steak at the top because it cook, it needs longer to cook, and then the chicken and the white fish at the bottom. And you might even pull the white fish out before any of that. Then you'll pull the chicken out and then you'll pull the steak out. And you have all your little timers. I'm pointing over here like you know that this is a timer, but you'll have your timers on your uh, on there. You don't, that's the, the, this is what I tell people. Food prep is not that hard. The most tedious part is like measuring everything out. But when you're actually food prepping, you don't have to stand there and stare at it as it cooks. No, okay? So then I put my potatoes in the air fryer. This is gold, okay? So like I said, these came out absolutely perfect. I'm probably, because these are a little bit bigger, I'm probably gonna slice them up. So like almost like potato chips. I hate that I even said that. I don't like to talk about bad food at all. Um, and then the only thing that I don't prepare in advance is my last meal, which is a salad with chicken and a little bit of oil that is measured. I literally put my bowl of salad on my scale 
and my chicken, and it's also, I measure that, and then I put the oil on. Um, uh, and then I, I like to grow these, like uh, in the, I have it like once. And then also, this is what I ran out of, um, I also have cucumbers. So those are really the only ones that don't really aggravate my stomach. So I have the salad as long as it's coated with a little bit of oil. Again, it's in, the oil is in my plan, it counts as my fat. I always tell my clients, you don't add oil, you don't add oil to cook, you don't add oil to salad, unless it's part of the plan. So I, will, I get 15 grams of fat on my salad, okay? And I put 15 grams of oil, okay? When, if I'm eating my fish and I'm gonna, or chicken, and I get 10 grams of coconut oil, a little, a little life hack for you, what I would do is I would put my scale with this on it, obviously with the top off, and then coconut oil I feel like is the easiest, but you can't make a salad with coconut oil. Actually you could, as long as it wasn't the solid one. But um, if you get the solid coconut oil, which I'll just show you the little one that I have, so what you do is it's very easy. If you put it on the scale, so if you put it on the scale, let's say it's not measured. You put a plate on, you zero it out, and you put your X number of ounces of white fish or chicken. Right, let's just say five grams of five ounces of chicken. Boom. Then you zero out the scale again, switch it to grams, and then you put in your coconut oil. And now you can see it's kind of like solid. It looks like cream for your face. Um, you put it on, and if if it says eleven, you could very easily just pull that eleven off and put it back in with a fork. So that's just a little life hack for you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a few more days prepared with my fish with the amount, and then you'll have to look for the next video where I'm gonna do a full day of eating. Um, it's actually gonna be on my refeed day, so as I mentioned earlier, and I will include all of my meals, including my muffin that I do get, that is new and recent, um, and we'll talk about how many calories I get and all that other stuff, so let's get to cooking. Okay, so I wanted to kinda of show you, I have my little super strong knife and I got my potatoes all chopped up into like little slices. So like, I, there's a few of them left. And I'm gonna put it in my air fryer and there's actually a spot on here for fries. So even though they're a lot bigger than fries, I'm just gonna set it for fries and then I'll check it again. It's gonna do uh, 18 minutes. So while that's going, I'm gonna start chopping up and getting my protein set and putting it in um, the oven. So I'm kind of like one thing's cooking while the other thing's going. And the rice you could have like just set up like in the morning and then it got started and then once you showered and finished doing your cardio that you did or your workout or whatever, the rice is ready because that could just sit in there. That can sit and stay warm in there for a while. Um, all right, so let's get to part number two. Okay, so I wanted to give you one more little life hack real quick. So I know that there are a lot of people that either are sharing an apartment with somebody, sharing a refrigerator, you have a big family and you can't take up the whole refrigerator with all your food prep. I'm gonna be totally transparent right now. I just bought these. I, like you can see how new they are. I haven't even taken them apart. So I will, and I have other ones, but I will use these for my fish, which is something that I just recently switched to, which is why these are in here. Because I was doing all chicken and steak and a little bit of salmon, and as you heard, I made some changes. So now I'm doing very little chicken, more white fish, and then just my steak. But I will tell you what I do. So as you know, I cook multiple days. Uh, my kids do like steak, my kids do like chicken, they don't like the white fish. Amir loves salmon. Um, they don't really like the potatoes, I'm trying to think of what else, besides my vegetables that they eat. Uh, but what I'll do is, I'll cook like the last, and not for fresh purposes, for room purposes. I'll cook three out of the seven days in this Ziploc bag. And I most of the time put my food, I only wanted this to be presentable. So like my chicken goes in here, my fish would go in here, uh, my steak would go in here and here, I wait for it to cool down and then I chop it up put it on the scale in Ziploc bags. But what I'll do is, I'll do, let's just say, if I have it with one meal and I'm having five ounces, I'll put this, chop it up into little cubes and put 15 ounces in there. So I know I'm gonna even it out over the three days, okay? And then anything left over, I'll save for my kids because they do eat that. But that's just a little life hack if you are somebody that runs out of room. I even teach people about how you can travel with rice wait for it to cool down and you can put it in Ziploc bags so you don't have to have all this Tupperware. Like all my food is in Tupperware when I travel, which I haven't traveled with whitefish, but um, 
and maybe I'll do another travel video for you guys. So keep an eye out for, maybe leave a comment and let me know if you want to see a travel video. This is what I have brought. I have never left my house and traveled to New York without bringing at least five days worth of food with me. Um, and, and I bring five because I want to get myself a few days into my vacation. I'm staying at my sister's house and then while I'm there, I cook to overlap. Literally, I am traveling back home with enough food to get me to the day, like two days after. Because nobody wants to cook on the same day that they're getting home or even the next day. So I have the next day's worth of food and then I food prep. Okay, let me just tell you, as you can see, I did nothing. Why? Because I had a phone interview set up for 11.15, which is literally right when I just finished doing the last part of it. So, heard the beeping while I was on the phone. Okay, that's obnoxious. It was kind of crunchy. But the potatoes look phenomenal. I don't want to touch it because I'm going to burn myself. So they look amazing. So I'm going to kind of wait for those to cool. Again, my fish and chicken and, and steak would have been in the oven by now. Um, so I'm going to wait for them to cool a little bit. And then I'm going to put those in my Tupperwares. And I'll show you guys um, what it looks like. So something that I decided to do different. So I actually took my potatoes out of the air fryer instead of letting them chill in it, and I put them in a bowl, getting them ready to uh, prep and put inside my containers. And then I put my chicken in the air fryer because I wanted you guys to see chicken is also fantastic in the air fryer, okay? So what I did was in the oven right now, there is steak and fish. Um, fish does cook way faster, so I kind of did this on purpose. My timer is going to go off in a little bit, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the couple pieces of fish that I have, put them on a plate, put more in there, put it back in while the steak is still cooking, okay? And then the chicken will be done soon. So what I did want to show you is that I have way more ounces um, of potatoes than most of my clients have, except for some of my guys. So for the average female, that bag... It, it gave me one, two, three, four, five, six days. For the average female, it will give you more than six days, okay? So I'm having way more ounces than you guys are. I, I just wanted to show you what I did with the potatoes. They're already ready, moved to the side, including the one that I have left. And then, um, then I'll start showing you once I get everything together. Okay, so it got so hot in here, I had to put my hair up in a ponytail. Um, so I did want to come on here and also tell you guys that food prep doesn't have to feel like a chore. Like, I would actually play music right now, but I didn't want copyright to be. I would either put it on my uh, computer in the other room, blast it if, it's, if I'm prepping during a time where the kids aren't home, which most of the time they are. Like I said, I do it over the weekend. Or I would put my iPod on with my headphones on. Um, like right now, because I'm not going to put the music on because I'm coming back and forth, I'm like watching a show. So it's making the time go by faster. But I did want to show you guys how amazing my chicken came out. So here is the chicken, nice and crispy, nice and juicy. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for it to cool down. And just because I don't want to, just for the video purposes, put everything in here, um, I am going to wait for it to cool down and then chop them up with my scissors and put them in a bowl, wait for it to cool for a little while, uh, the Ziploc bags. I'm gonna do the same thing with the steak. So right now I'm just checking on it. Steak is brown-ish and the fish looks like it's almost done, maybe five more minutes. So I do wanna let you know I did put the chicken in there for 22 minutes. Um, now I just put the next batch, but there's a few less pieces. So I just put it in for like 19 minutes. Um, and that's it. So, and then just remember that um, I do have a muffin. So, Sometimes it's blueberry, sometimes it's chocolate chip, some, sometimes it's chocolate. So that is part, again, you'll see that in the next video. And then I do have my vegetables. Um, and then I will also 
have my juiced up. I just uh, ran out of one, so I will have one scoop of that a day. Um, and a really little a li little life hack for you for with the juiced up. Um, if you have any issues with the bathroom, which I don't, um, you could do kale and spinach, and then one scoop of the juiced up and put it in a blender, and you can have that as one of your middle day uh, greens. It actually will help you get in the electrolytes, the nootropics, and all the greens that you get from that, along with your kale and spinach, and then it actually does help you go to the bathroom. So that's a little life hack for you. All my carbs, I have never in six years have I eaten a carb without my glycolog. Um, and then, you know, I have my fish oil with my first meal. I have my, uh, my turmeric and my uh, vitamin C also from the core series. Uh, that's just a few little things. So not getting into too much of that, just more about the food prep. That's me checking on the fish, but I just did, so now I'm gonna reset it for like five more minutes. display so just want to show you that I am drinking a half gallon jug it's actually just ice right now uh, so I drink about a gallon and a half to two gallons of water a day it's only 12 30 in the afternoon and I am already a gallon in um, I put my BCAs from Blackstone Labs in it the resurgence the one that's got EAAs nootropics and electrolytes in it um, so I do want to let you know if you're just watching me for the first time maybe you've never seen any of my videos my workout videos and you're just looking up uh, food prep videos um, and you're finding me for the first time. I, I dropped, name dropped a bunch um, in here and I have a lot of sponsors. So if you guys wanna take advantage of some discounts because my sponsors give me discounts to give to you. So my coupon codes and all of my sponsors are in the description. I got my Squeeze Me Skinny, I'm always wearing it, especially during food prep, I'm up walking around. Um, Mini Beast, the shorts that I've been wearing. Usually I wear a Real Muscle, so if you've seen any of my other videos, Real Muscle t-shirt, I just happen to wear, wear my own. Um, the X-Bands, which I probably should put on some X-Bands while I was doing all this, burn some extra calories. Um, and CBD, I've tried five other companies and the company that um, I'm a sponsor, sponsored athlete for, uh, well, everything is in the description. So I like my steak medium rare. Chicken is probably cool by now. Remember I mentioned the, fit, the rice is not mine. I just prepped it for my husband, but I just wanted to show you how to prep it. These are all my potatoes, all my fish, and then I'm gonna put my steak and my chicken in Ziploc bags for space purposes. This I will make as I eat. This I will make at night. And that's it, that's everything else and the muffin that I showed you guys earlier. So maybe I'll take a quick picture at the end, but you guys kind of get the idea. It's super easy. I'm just gonna stand here and chop up everything and then put it in Ziploc bags. Um, so I hope you guys like this video. Um, let me know, let me know what you wanna see. I'm gonna be doing a video on water. I'm gonna be doing the day uh, video of a full day of eating on my cheat day, um, and that's it. So like, comment, share this with your friends if you felt like it was helpful. Um, let me know what you like, what you didn't like. I don't care what you don't like. I'm gonna do what I wanna do anyway. Um, but leave the comment anyway, just because it's a comment. And um, I will talk to you guys soon, so. Okay, so I really should end with this. This video took me an hour and 30 minutes to make. 25 of those minutes, I was doing a phone interview. Uh, so seven days worth of food done and packed and everything. Talk about convenience, saving money, and saving time throughout the week.